Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between Capture One and Lightroom, but specifically for Fujifilm RAW files. Back in 2018, when Fujifilm announced the GFX100, they also announced that their cameras were going to be supported by Capture One. And since then, a lot of photographers have been talking about how Capture One does a better job at processing Fujifilm files. So in this video, we're going to be testing that theory. The cameras that we're going to be using are the GFX50, the GFX100, and the Fuji X-T4. I've got Capture One and Lightroom opened up on my desktop, so let's hop onto my computer test these uh, raw files from Fujifilm and see which of the two software is the better option. So here we have the images opened up in Lightroom now and this first image that we're looking at was shot on the GFX 50S with the 63mm f2.8. The second image XT4 with the 1855 and the third image GFX 100 with the 120 macro. Same in Capture One as well. And we're going to be looking at this first image over here so I'm just going to go back to that file. And if we just go back and forth between Capture One and Lightroom, I honestly don't see any real difference from the outset. The colors, they both look pretty much identical. And uh, just to go into a little bit detail, um, the only changes that I've made in on these images, on this particular image, was that I increased the exposure by one stop. The white balance was left at a shot, and I changed it from Adobe Color Profile to Provia Standard. I am going to be exporting all of these files with all the different profiles as well for you to view so you can download the images and have a look at yourself but in this particular video it'll be too much if I cover every single profile so we're going to focus on Provia so colors on the outset they're both virtually identical Provia standard and I checked all the other profiles as well they're virtually identical both software do a fantastic job when it comes to the Fujifilm profiles so let's zoom in one to one got a hundred percent on 200% there. Let's 100. Let's go 200% actually, so that we can look at some. We could we could do some real pixel peeping. Um, so yeah, looking at the detail and the clarity, Lightroom appears sharper. Like you can tell if I just go back and forth, Lightroom definitively appears sharper in comparison. But it also appears harsher because it looks like it's been over sharpened. So let's turn the sharpening off in both software and see how they compare between the two. So now we've taken all the sharpening off. And they're very close. They're very close, but Capture One just looks a little bit better. The difference is very small and we're having to zoom in at 200% for, for us to notice this, but Capture One does seem to be doing a better job when it comes to detail. Um, a tiny, tiny difference though. Uh, let's have a look at highlights. So if we recover the highlights in full, then maybe that will show some difference as well. So highlights in both software and it looks like the Lightroom image is just a bit darker when you recover the highlights in full. Capture One still has that sparkle in the skin tones. So in my experience, Capture One tends to be a little bit more precise when it comes to recovering highlights. It doesn't, it's not as generous when it comes to the uh, levels in recovering so much more. Lightroom, however, it, it, it recovers, in my, for my personal taste, it recovers a little bit too much. Um, however, if we move on to the shadows, that's when I feel like Capture One is just a little bit excessive when it comes to how much it recovers. So I'm just going to increase the shadows. And I feel like, yeah, I just feel like Capture One, like the difference isn't huge, but if you're just paying attention to like the hair tones and, and, and the way that her skin looks, to me, it feels like Lightroom does a slightly better job but again the differences are very small uh, however capture one does seem to be doing a better job at recovering those highlights however that is something that i noticed when uh, you're using when you're shooting uh, with uh, lightroom so i'm zooming in at 400 percent. so this is like true pixel peeping this is the most pixel peeping you can get do you see how much color noise is in the file now normally you'd expect noise when you're recovering uh, any shadows on an image but this is a medium format sensor and we've still got a lot of color noise but look at look at capture one same area virtually no color noise 
And this is the key difference. So if you're really pushing and pulling on those files and you're recovering shadows, recovering highlights and doing all of those things, Capture One might be a better option because look at all of that color noise and it's virtually everywhere. So if you even look at her hair, you can see how it appears almost everywhere where there's a, a shadow area. Lightroom introduces so much color noise and Capture One does a better job. Moving on to the image taken with the X-T4 and going back and forth between both software, I can't tell if there's any difference. We're using Provia standard again. Uh, the white balance has been set to as shot, so what the camera selected. And um, yeah, I, I really can't tell the images apart. Maybe the exposure slightly. It feels like the Capture One image is just a little bit darker. I haven't changed anything. Let me just check the um, settings. And yeah, I haven't changed anything. So it feels like Capture One is just a tiny bit darker in comparison. But other than that, the colors, they're virtually identical. If I recover the uh, highlights, uh, the highlights in Capture One, very, very selective, only pick on the actual light, uh, whereas Lightroom is a little bit more aggressive with the highlight slider. You can see how a lot more of the image is affected when you recover highlights in Capture One. Uh, sorry, Lightroom, whereas uh, Capture One is a little bit more precise with how it recovers highlights. Uh, shadows, again, same thing. Capture One is a little bit too generous on uh, how it recovers shadows. Lightroom is far more precise when it comes to recovering shadows. It does a better job. Uh, capture one. It's just too bright. Like too much of the image is being affected when you recover the shadows in Capture One, whereas uh, Lightroom does a better job when it comes to recovering shadows. So yeah, there is that. Capture One is better at highlights. Lightroom is better in when it comes to the shadows. Uh, noise in the shadows. There isn't any color noise that's being introduced into the image, and uh, yeah, it looks like they're both very very good. So yeah, when it comes to uh, the Fuji X-T4, both software are pretty much identical in the results. Like there's no difference whatsoever. Detail clarity, everything looks about the same. Noise performance, when you're recovering shadows, there's no, uh, there's nothing being added in the Lightroom file that's different from the uh, Capture One file. And uh, the only real difference is that Lightroom is better at recovering shadows um, and Capture One is better at recovering highlights. That's the only real difference between both of these uh, uh, files. So if you're shooting with the APS-C sensor, then either software is going to be fine. And finally, we're looking at the GFX100 with the 120 macro and going back and forth between the software. Again, default settings, so white balance is set to as shot and we're using Provia standard on both Lightroom and Capture One. And I honestly cannot tell any difference between both the software. So if I, even if I zoom in, can you tell any difference? Because I really cannot see any difference. Let's look at the hair hair color, because the hair is a little bit more complex than the the uh, jumper is. Yeah, I really cannot see any difference at all. There's a little bit of difference in the sharpening again. So it looks like Lightroom is just, or Capture One is applying, uh, yeah, Capture One just appears a little bit sharper. I mean, it's adding a lot of sharpening there. It's 185. It was 140 on the uh, uh, GFX 50. So that's a lot of sharpening that's been applied. Uh, and I find in general, like with other cameras I've shot with, Capture One tends to be a little bit aggressive with how much sharpening it opens, it, it uh, applies. So let's take the sharpening off on both software. And yeah, it looks a lot better. Capture One still looks slightly sharper in comparison. Or am I just imagining that? Um, let's have a look at something like the eye. Yeah, no, Lightroom looks a bit sharper now. Lightroom definitely looks a little bit sharper. Capture One is applying a lot of sharpening to 
the GFX 100 files. Um, but Lightroom does look better even when the sharpening is completely switched off. So that's quite a switch from the GFX 50 to the GFX 100 and how Capture One and Lightroom handle these files. So let's increase the shadows now because um, that's something that we saw made quite a difference with um, the GFX 50. And if we increase the shadows again, look at how much Lightroom impacts the image when you recover shadows. It's far more precise, whereas Capture One is just a little bit ugly. And this is something that I've contended with uh, when it comes to Capture One as well. Capture One, really not good at recovering shadows. Um, Lightroom is a lot better because it's more precise in where and how it recovers shadows. Same image, obviously. And this has been consistent in every single uh, camera. Capture One is just a little bit um, aggressive or too aggressive when it comes to recovering shadows. But I don't see... There's a little bit of... A tiny, tiny, I mean, let's just increase this a little bit, exposure as well, just to kind of match things. And yeah, both software are doing a fantastic job at the recovered areas. I can't see any noise at all. These were both shot at the base ISO, obviously, but um, so was the uh, GFX 50. And when you're covering shadows and highlights, sorry, just the shadows, there's no noise in both files. So that's brilliant. Both uh, cameras do a brilliant job when it, when it comes to uh, recovering shadows, uh, or when it comes to noise in recovered shadows. But I think that Lightroom does a better job at handling shadow information overall. Um, let's just turn that down. Let's turn the highlights down. And again, Lightroom is a little bit too... Ex it's, it's, it's too generous when it comes to handling the highlights. So look at, again, highlights in full. Look at the difference. Lightroom just looks flat and horrible. Capture One looks more refined because the Lightrooms are only affecting the very top end of the image and it's not affecting the rest of it. So same story across the board really. Lightroom is better at recovering shadows. Capture One is better at recovering highlights. In terms of colors, virtually no difference whatsoever. And uh, the only image or the only camera uh, the only sensor that seemed to suffer when it comes to Lightroom is the GFX 50, the GFX 100 and the X-T4. They're both basically identical in terms of how the software manages these files. So, interesting. I think that's quite interesting. Uh, definitely interesting for me. I, I hope it's interesting for you guys as well. So there you have it, that's how Capture One and Lightroom compare against one another when it comes to Fujifilm RAW files and this idea that Capture One is definitively better than Lightroom is, well, untrue because as you saw, the differences are negligible and in some areas Lightroom is better, some areas Capture One is better and it does come down to personal preference but overall, when you're just looking at the images in all the different profiles, the results are virtually identical. There's absolutely no difference. And the small minor differences were mostly down to um, the GFX 50, where, yeah, Lightroom is doing a worse job. Capture One was definitively better for the GFX 50 because Lightroom was introducing shadow uh, color noise in the shadows and also the sharpening looked a little bit harsh. Um, but then when we moved over to the GFX 100, Capture One looked a little bit harsh when it came to the sharpening and Lightroom actually looked better even when we switched the sharpening off. So it does kind of depend on which camera you're shooting with and ultimately in the grand scheme of things, neither software is better than the other when it comes to the final results. What I'm finding in my own experience and how I'm shooting is that I tend to use Lightroom more for bulk sets of images and uh, if I'm working on projects which aren't as meaningful, but if I'm working on images, individual images, where I want the absolute best, then yeah, I'll use Capture One. But in the grand scheme of things, the differences are negligible and it does predominantly come down to personal preference. So yeah, Lightroom and Capture One, which one do you prefer? I tend to use them depending on what project I'm working on. Anyway, just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, hit the like button, please subscribe, share this video, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.